Hey guys, Zen here, and today we're jumping into North Star. These changes this season are just so huge. Like with Ash in particular, the recoil nerf she got on the R4C completely changes the feel of the weapon, and I think it'll shock you once you've tried it. There's also, I think, the prime example of activities after death in this video, but with the mountain of feedback about this update, they've pulled it from play. And so if you want to see just how effective it is, pay close attention throughout this one. A bunch of other buffs and nerfs have also made it to season two recently, and so there's honestly a lot here. Guys, make sure you get subscribe to the channel and drop a like on the video and let's get into this. All right, so I think one of the smartest things they decided to do in this season was make it so that Rook putting on his armor is a part of deploying the gadget animation. It makes so much sense and I'm glad they finally decided to do it. They don't try to rush too hard here. Oh, really? Oh my God. We're just going straight for it. Ooh, that recoil snaps back, dude. There's two. Ooh, that was a close one. That thing was pulling, dude. Drone out. All right, in we go. Straight down looks clear. Let's do it. How am I alive after that, dude? There's online and active. Woo! There we go, Ash. <laughs> oh, man. That recoil nerf makes all the difference. It really does, guys. So, Zero has an interesting buff. Let's check it out. So, basically, you've got the camera, you shoot it. And it's on a, a cooldown now, and it has infinite shots. It's actually quite the buff. Ooh, there's the Malusi. Put this up. There's the Vigil. There's a Rooney. Ooh. That's all right. That's all right. Because you thought it was over. But it's not. But we're going to try to get a little bit of dead guy intel. All right, so Frost is on site. Guy upstairs in classroom, guys. This is super strong. Like, I can just take out cams. I can do pretty much everything I need to do here as Twitch, but I'm dead. Give off a ping, give off a ping. Nice. Oh my God, she got that kill because of that. If we win this because of this. Let me find her, I'm gonna try to find her. Nice, she got rid of that. Rookson, connector. Nice. Bro, my drone, I believe, had a profound effect that round. Like, man, that is so strong. I don't know if that should really be in the game, guys. That is so strong. Wow. So even though things are different for Ash and things are very different for her, we're still going to try and make something happen. She's still Ash. Like, she's still a super good op. But it's just she doesn't have the killing power that she used to have. All right, we can hop in here. There's that bandit. All right, I don't think they reinforced all this. There's Mira. There's Ella. Reload. 
Maybe it will give us a little uh, actual health. There's Rook. Get that out of here. Ooh, and now Ficka gives actual health, so there's the boost. Let's go for him. Nice, we got him. Finca is just so good. Now that her boost gives actual health to another operator, like, it is just essential. So one thing I think you guys will notice almost immediately, not too many Malusi bands, as you can see. Very different to our current meta. The Panchi is now basically one shot. It still does require you to walk into its radius to have it open up so that you can shoot it. But with just one bullet, you can take these things out, so... It's so much more important about where you actually place these things now. There we go. One, two. Got them both. There we go. Kona station back here. We have to put a Kona station over here. Again, a little bit out of the way so that it doesn't overheal everything. But also, still super accessible. And then we'll just put one here. A sledge. Fifteen seconds left. It's going to blue. Ten seconds left. One friendly Got him. Good call out, bro. There it is. That spear on this operator is devastating. Thing it hits so hard. Now both of Vigil's weapons got some change. The K1A got a recoil nerf, but it's still super manageable and not anywhere close to what happened with Ash. The SMG12, on the other hand. Whew. It's actually a really, really nice buff to this weapon. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can definitely handle the, the SMG-12 much better now. There we go, nice. Okay, so guys, one thing I think is important to mention is the vast difference there is in which barrel attachments you choose. Like, when we're talking about Ash, I gave both a fair try, and there is no doubt in my mind that the Flash Hider is 100% the way to go with the R4C. I know there's always been a crowd that's run the weapon with a compensator, but it just jumps up, like worse than Buck C8. And so to really get control of it, you have to swap over to the Flash Hider. Again, she's Ash, right? So she's always gonna have a place in the meta, and thankfully, there is the G36C, that is a great option if you don't like the new feel of the R4. Now, one thing I have to be brutally honest about is after death activities. No, I'm sorry, it's just so strong and there are so many things to consider for those left alive, it really is too much, at least in its current state. I won't go as far as to say never to do it because there could be more iterations of it down the line, but to give certain operators full utility control, either dead or alive, I think is a little too much. But I won't lie, it was definitely satisfying to gain intel on an operator as a dead guy and help lead my team to a victory. It did have an impact and we did win the round. I just know how much pressure was on the other side and so hopefully they polish the balance of it. And so that's it guys. If you want to know more about some of the biggest updates coming in North Star, click the video on screen. We go in depth with a lot of new content and I think it's a valuable watch. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hey, I'm out.